Speaking at the Adolescent Girls Advocacy Meeting organized by Plan International, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta said retrogressive traditions, cultural practices, and crippling poverty is denying many girls access to an education. Advancing the rights, participation, and development of adolescent girls, particularly through education and access to equal opportunity, is therefore a smart move. Noting that gender violence against the female gender is commonplace, the First Lady called for inclusivity of both gender that respects the value of humanity and humanness. Yet young people, and specifically young women, face many socio-cultural and economic barriers to fully realize their potential. She said the youth are an integral part of society and should be included in development strategies being mooted by the government and other sectors in order to realize developmental aspirations. A girl is like a metal tool, so strong indeed, if any, so strong indeed for any form of task. We need empowerment and space to achieve our potential lest our talents are rendered useless. We live in a time where we can no longer ignore the voice of our young people. They are influencing policies, they are influencing decision-making processes at different levels. Ignoring the youth is like ignoring our future. The First Lady noted that girls face greater challenges both at home and in school, saying marginal communities are worse off as they hinder girls from accessing equal opportunities. Admirable how far the girls here today have come, how they have taken the initiative of bringing to life the issues that they continue to grapple with, particularly in marginalized regions that so often pull them back from realizing their dreams. At the function attended by girls drawn from across the country, the First Lady received a memorandum to be delivered at the UN General Assembly in New York next month. The UN General Assembly is set to adapt a new set of goals, the Social Development Goals, that are set to replace the Millennium Development Goals, whose term ended in June this year. Judith Akolo, Channel One News.